Next question is from Composed Cocktails. Do any of you have experience helping a significant other get in shape? I'm having a hard time balancing being a good or nice boyfriend while also trying to be strict or real with my guidance and advice. Who, who picked this question? Uh, I did. This is really good, right? <laughs> okay, so I like this question because um, this, was an, this has been an interesting journey for me. I used to have a rule that I would not uh, train uh, – my my girlfriends, I never did. Like so, all through my twenties, slippery slope. Dude. Well, here's what I found. Uh, I had a really, I, I was so passionate about the job. I had a really hard time if, like, you know, and, and every girlfriend did in my twenties so would be like, "Will you train me? Yeah. Or will you mm-hmm. write a plan for me?" They would they would ask I like that. Your right? voice, yeah, <laughs> they, they do it just like that. Please right? so, me. Yeah, right. So they <laughs> they would ask me to do this, and uh, if I it, whenever I would try, I would get really frustrated because uh, you know they would you know we, we would be working out together and it would turn into you know giggling and flirting and mm, like cake. not taking yeah not taking the form and Grab technique acid. serious and like you know or if I was putting them on a diet plan you know they followed it for like a few days and then they were off of it and it was like so I'd have all this kind of wasted energy and in, into helping and I took my job so serious it was so hard for me to like switch to this like it ain't that serious for her you know she wants my help but then she don't really give a shit that much and so I just made like this hard rule like I don't train I don't train girlfriends I don't do that it wasn't until Katrina did I meet somebody who I actually train diet and eat with and for me it really was I I waited and for the first two years we didn't I didn't help her at all with any of that stuff I waited until she came to me and like really 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 wanted me to like dial her in on all those things otherwise it comes off as like me trying to push all that on somebody who really deep down doesn't want it that bad. And that was always like this struggle in the mm-hmm. relationship. So, I mean, my advice is is to make sure that the the significant other really wants uh, the information that you 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 want to give to them because sometimes they just say it because it's like, oh, you're a trainer, you're knowledgeable about nutrition, yeah. you're knowledgeable about working out, so help me out. But deep down, they really don't give a shit that much about it and they're not going to treat right. it the same way that you want a client to treat it's it. It's a slippery slope because you telling your client, hey, you know, uh, that's not on your meal plan or maybe that's outside of your micros is different than telling that to your wife or your oh, girlfriend they feel like tyrannized yeah or or like well, why am i not looking good you know my fat or what's in so you have this this slippery slope going on i agree with adam number one make sure they re- they're asking you don't approach them don't go up to them and say hey do you want me to train have them ask you and they really want to do it and then define what that looks like say hey what kind of trainer do you want do you want me to just focus on your workouts do you want me to like help you with nutrition too do you want me to call you out Right. Um, or do you want to just, you know, be boyfriend and girlfriend and I train you in the gym and, you know, and that's it. And then here's the second, here's the, the other part. Don't take it so seriously. I, I hate to say that, yeah. but I, I mean it because, mm-hmm. uh, if you value your relationship more than then that's more important, you know, sometimes being right is not as important as, uh, everybody being well, it's, happy. It's your jo- <laughs> you got to remember it's your job. So it's yeah. like you're you're asking your partner to to step into your work every single day, and then it's and then you're also asking yourself to outside of work work more. And it's just a, I mean that, the worst thing is to get in an argument or a fight with your significant significant other over their lack of devotion to the workout plan yeah. or diet. Like what a silly thing right. to well, argue just like about. Any other profession, like you know, somebody coming home and they know that they work on cars, and it's just like well, why even you fix that? You know, it's it's just a different <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. You know, at that point to where it, it like oh get to it. You know, it's like <laughs> this this sort of it's not there's not a whole lot of urgency. Uh, and so to to actually get somebody else involved, I highly recommend. And this is something that, um, you know, I did. Uh, Just, I, Justin trained my girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, I trained his girlfriends. You know, uh, Jerry trained mine. Yeah. You know, like so um, that was it, it, I have a unique uh, situation because I started out training my wife before we were even a couple. And uh, I realized right away this is going to be unprofessional real fast, yeah. and so I I, I sent Spot, her off. Spotting her, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, dude, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. That I might fall down. Then. Hurry up and grab. Yeah, me. no, I knew I was like really professional, but also I was like very much like, dude, yeah, like this is going to be a thing. Um, and so I, 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 yeah, I got somebody else to train her and like kept tabs, but. Um, down the road, it was like only until just recently, actually, where like Courtney has been asking me a lot more about like what she should be doing, what kind of food she should eat, like what, like how her training, how, how her posture looks, like like form, technique, 
like all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just kind of like waited. I waited for that opportunity. And she was like, you know, really into kickboxing at the time and would ask me all these questions why her knees and her back hurts. And I'm, and I'm like, I had to be real. I'm like, this is why. And you're not doing this, that, and the other. And then I just leave it at that and then walk away. Yeah. Uh, it, it really, it's up to them to then, you know, follow up and, and want to be educated on that subject. Yeah. 24 Hour Fitness used to do a really cool thing. If you, if as uh, we had it, we used to get uh, training sessions for half off. So basically you're just paying to cover the the cost of, of the trainer and stuff like that. And the company's not really making any money off of, uh, off of you, you getting personal train yourself. So I always bought it for all of like every girlfriend trained with like my best trainer at the time. So Justin's trained one of my girlfriends cause he worked yeah. with me during that time that I was uh, dating her. I trained a lot of people's girlfriends. <laughs> so yeah. I, I would like here. <laughs> yeah. I would, I mean, if they were coming to me and they were asking that, I would say, listen, uh, you know, I, you're far better off. I'll get you my best trainer and they'll, they'll do this and, you know, and they'll coach you. And help you. You'll you'll do better, and it always worked out much much better that way. I don't want to be that person. Mm. Like you said, or you alluded to, Sal. Like it ain't that serious. Like it's more about our relationship and like blending my work and job, especially if you take it seriously into that. It can strain the relationship. Yeah. It yeah. depends on the people. Like Jessica loves when I train her in the gym. She really enjoys me telling her what exercises to do, watching her form, pushing her, and motivating her. Um, I am not a great client. Uh, for for someone else to train. I'm just not. I've been working out so long and training myself for so long. And sometimes she'll give me critiques and I can, I, I'm not as receptive and she gets annoyed. And so we've had these conversations. So it depends on the person. I would do terrible with that. There's yeah. No yeah. Like imagine like yeah, if you, no you know, way. Yeah, yeah, no way. No I'm just not, that's, I'm why not I don't, I don't, that's why I don't even work out with workout partners. Mm -hmm. like, I, don't, I don't need your opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I know I'm not a great client. I know it. I know I'm not a great client. I mean, yeah. there'd be very few people that I think uh, would be able to train me. Um, and you know, so well, that's you know. an interesting topic. Uh, do you have like in mind like somebody you would actually allow to kind of run you through some workouts? Oh, God. Uh, you know, the only I way I can't even think of it. Yeah, I know it's tough. No, the only way I could is if I was uh, pursuing something uh, specific and I was looking for exactly yeah, like, like so. Let's like say MMA training, or yes, or like, yes, that's where I'd be. Or like okay. Olympic lifting, exactly. Right? So yeah, I'm, I'm, that I, too. I am not by any means, uh, you know, proficient in Olympic lifts. And I know there's far Sonny better Webster, right, right, right. There are far better coaches out there. I would 100% hire one and love to have one teach me. Yeah, and traditional I would be, resistance training. Yeah, I can't think no, of anybody. Bodybuilding coach. Yeah. I can't think of anybody. Phil Daru or yeah, or like PJ performs. If I'm trying to like actually jump higher, you yes. know, like so I would do that. Yeah, like if I was going to do a jujitsu tournament, I would probably want to work with a coach. Yeah, you, coach it me. would have to be a very specific goal that I have that I'm aware that this person's far more educated than yeah. I am on that. But general health and telling me what. I need to do get the yeah. fuck out of here. And I'm just, yeah. you're just yeah. you're so set in your own way and what you do, and you feel like you know your body. And I know I'm a pain in the ass with that. So yeah. you, you gotta have that conversation. And I think the key is not to take it so seriously. I think when you take it too seriously, yeah, have fun with it. Oh, I've made the mistake. You know, you're, yeah, that was my mistake. You're out to dinner, and then they add, they order something, yeah. and then you're like, oh, you sure <laughs> so you much want for the diet, huh? Yeah. Now you're now you're just let an their own guilt uh, talk to. Yeah, them. now you're just yeah. an asshole boyfriend yeah. or husband, especially if the waitress hears you. Yeah. <laughs> I got that look once, like, did you just tell this bitch what's not to eat? They're called oh, but, servers. But you understand, I train her yeah. too. You know, <laughs> stupid. Yeah.